This is the path. There's some markers over here that tell you a little bit about the pathway, such as a map. Map is always a good, a good uh, system to follow for you don't get lost. And we're right here because this is the parking lot. So probably go up, around, and back out. I wanted to show that they had little picnic tables and resting areas if you wanted to say sit and have a meal here. Pets must be on a leash. And as you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. Kids are biking. It's a great day. Through the woods, we're on our way to a creek. As you can see, it's a nice packed down uh, walking track. So we're just gonna get you to the creek and I'll show you what it looks like. I wanted to show the view. We're up to 1622 steps. So we're just going to continue to walk on this path and see where it takes us. We're on a little walking bridge. And there's a bench down here. But I can see a beautiful, beautiful body of water just over the horizon here. You'll see it in a second. This used to be my favorite parking, or the favorite ride in the back. But now that I keep walking, it's no longer uh, my favorite. So I'm just going to bring you back once we get close to that water. So we're at the water section. And I'm just going to uh, stand here and take a little uh, view of it. Looks kind of brown. Absolutely phenomenal. And there's a boat out there. Looks like a little Coast Guard boat, actually. As you can see, this is a homemade bird feeder, which is pretty cool. They got holes cut into it for the little birds can come and eat their seeds. So, very nice. The uh, view here from this little park bench that we're taking a little rest in the shade. As you can see, over there is the Coast Guard College, hence why there's a Coast Guard boat in the water right there. I don't know if you can see it or if uh, the fence is in the way. Oh, there it is. Right there's a little Coast Guard boat, so we're just going to continue walking and we're up to, let's look to see how many steps, 2236, so bring it back. Totally amazing view. And they have another park bench right here. But we're just going to continue on. We're going to not sit at a park bench. For the uh, birds to come to the park. Goes up that way. As well as continuing on. Like at another fork in the uh, path. We could either go this way or we could go along the water. And we're going to go that way. We're not going to go along the water because it's very bright. But I did want to come down and show a view of it. That's my little princess. Hey, you... us not to uh, use this unless you want to use it at your own risk. So uh, we're going to continue. A little bit of a hill here. The original well system or something or maybe it was a basement it's uh, filled up with water I'm not quite sure what it is but it's fenced off probably for no one falls in That's actually where um, the Hearth Park actually takes you to behind there, remember? Remember we went walking over there one time? Just right over there is the Hearth Park. And that's Whitney Pier over there. And that's South Bar. This is the Shoreline Trail. It's going to open up to Widefield. And some rose bushes, some benches in the shade. Looks absolutely beautiful. 
So we're gonna walk uphill and see how it goes. So as you can see, there's some stairs here. And this is the view. <sighs> see the boat? Coast Guard. As you can see, there's some cement square here, which basically outlines the home that was once here. Sorry for the heavy breathing, but I'm out walking and you're watching a YouTube video. You can't complain. So this is the house that stood in that um, square we just showed you in the field here. John McLean purchased the Peterfield property in 1900. This is the full extent of his uh, property once he had it developed. And here's another portion of where the house was. As you can see, it's no longer there. 100 years, long time. Mom, can we go swimming today and skip going through the place bay? I'd rather go see family. Oh, well, I guess we'll go see family. You go see 889. And now we're done. Or why somebody's driving down here? Neither am I. Are they that lazy? So in front of a bunch of people. I'm not quite sure what just happened there, but whatever. Somebody's being a lazy. There she goes.